is a seafood market in France. And really good stuff. Oh, by here. Wow. Look at that prawn. It's a giant prawn. I messed my hand. <laughs> wow, how big that prawn is. So we overslept because noon here is 6 in the morning. So we woke up at about noon and missed breakfast. So now we're gonna walk around and try to get breakfast, but it's actually lunchtime. So we're at this place called Latino. So this is the meal that I just ordered. And it looks wonderful. It's all juicy, smells great. Green beans and salad. There are some fries with the chicken and mushrooms. Chicken with mushroom sauce. Mm -hmm. That looks wonderful too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very classic. Nice. Try it again. So here's the cream brulee. And there is the chocolate cake. What's that? Stopping in for some espresso here. At this little bakery. <laughs> and things look wonderful here as well. Just can't get enough bakery shots. These are beautiful. Uh, ooh, a salmon baguette. Hey, they have a salmon baguette. Yeah. Croissant with cheese. And this right here. Oh, this is the good stuff. Yeah, some type of chocolate donut with the gold on top. Pistachio raspberry. Wow. Everything is just gorgeous. Look at this. And bread on top. And more of this. Wow. So much. This is Pigal. Or Pickle. So this is the subway here in Paris. We are at station. Pretty clean.
So this is the fish and cream sauce and herb. This is from Alpide here in Paris. Yes. Oh, it looks delicious. And there we have a nice juicy piece of uh, duck breast. Yeah, duck coffee. Duck. Mm -mm. No, so this is duck coffee. This is this is duck breast and orange blossom honey. Hmm, duck and orange honey. Mm -hmm. Let's see how is that. This is the best meal I've had in the city. Has it? <laughs> and I've had some delicious meals. Well, it looks wonderful. That nice juicy piece of duck. Alright, I'm gonna dig into mine. Alright, so this is the, um, the whole fish. And you can just see how easily well, they give you this knife to fillet it, and you just slip it under, and uh, it fillets immediately. So you see how tender this is. So you just go right to the bone, and you get a nice fillet off of this fish. And it's just so tender with this creamy butter sauce, and that fillets just fall right off. Of the bone. I mean, look at that. The whole fish steamed filet there. And, yeah, it, looks, and it is delicious. It's really good stuff. Yeah, another filet there. And the cream sauce. And that is a wonderful, wonderful meal. For about 15 euros. Oh man, that's a pretty good deal here in Paris. So you can't beat that. So, mm. Mm. That's very good. A couple bones, but totally worth it. Mm. That's great. And this is the aftermath. <laughs> this is what happens when the food is so delicious. Just bones left. Demolished on an empty plate. And the duck has disappeared as well, too. Clearly, you can tell I hated it. <laughs> yum yum. This is an old bar with absinthe. And apparently, this place has been here for a long time. Yeah, you can see the old style art on the wall. So, pretty neat little place. This is a first for me. Uh, so I got an absinthe, and I got this whole apparatus, um, and a glass. So, don't really know how to start it, but we'll have to find out. You put that size in water. Mm? Ah. That sense is at the bottom of the glass. Mm -hmm. ah. You add one sugar? One sugar is fine, yeah. Ah, uh, and sugar. One sugar. And you let the sugar melt slowly. Oh, yeah. When the su su sugar is completely melt, mm. uh -huh. you have to switch up that little thing here. Okay. Oh, I see. Or you add water. It, mm. has, to be, it has to have water about here. Okay. Uh, Until okay. here. Uh. And you test if it's too strong, you add water. Ah, okay. Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> oh, so this is just water and not liquor. <laughs> Okay, so that's not as scary. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna say. Uh, this is quite a apparatus, though. It's pretty cool. And then just slowly drips in there. Mm. You smell the liquid? Yeah, and I can smell the anise and the licorice. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I've had it where they like it. Mm. So here we got some uh, escargot and this pesto butter. Is that yeah. pesto? Nope. It is um, garlic butter. Oh, garlic butter. Yes. Yeah. They, they added herbs. Yeah. I bet you it was pesto. <laughs> well, anyway, well, some type we'll of butter that. herb sauce. Yeah. And it looks wonderful. It smells great. So I'm going to get this snail out of this uh, pesto butter. Oh, there he is. Yeah, see, he's right there. So I'll just squeeze him out of there. And got that butter, pesto, garlic juice. Oh, you can smell that roasted. Oh, man, that's a good one. Man, look at that. 
roll them around and just uh, pistol sauce, olive oil, butter, and tea bag them back in there a little bit and you know, just dump them back and forth. Yeah, it'll seem this nice and flavored up. Oh, oh yeah. And then get that snail juice. Mm. Look at that. I keep lifting too high. <laughs> Mm. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's really tender, meaty. Got it. Mm. Delicious. And then you take the snail. Get that. Get those juices over your bread. And butter, garlic, pesto. Mm. And this is called the snail trail baguette. <laughs> <This is> <laughs> <laughs> there you go.